so these are the two institutes these are the different fee structures which i have mentioned in inr obviously and uh, more or less it's same just that it has it has a 5 to 6000 uh, difference in all the papers uh, there is something called as actual common entrance test this is a basic entrance test that you have to sit for when you appear for iia examinations in case of ifo which is the uk institute for uk institute you don't have to sit for any entrance test you can appear for either cm1 or cs1 these two paper any these two paper as a non member once you clear this paper you can take the membership of the institute and you can appear for the next papers so this is the entire structure next let's talk about basic statistics i have mentioned over here um IIA IFA so IIA currently has approximately 570 fellows when i say fellows what do you mean by a fellow so anyone who completes the first 10 papers all the core uh, principle and all the core practices which is your cmcs cb and cp papers and has a two years of work experience becomes an associate actually so we call them as associate actuaries anyone who completes all the 13 papers and has 3 years of relevant work experience is called a fellow actuary so in case of ia currently we have 570 fellow actuaries in case of uh, these are 231 this is the ifo statistics so you can just have a look uh, how many students are currently there this uh, report might vary because we had prepared this 6 months back numbers might have changed a little bit recently now let's talk about the salary structure how and when you progress